Today's game will feature something called the cannon. It's a structure where it's very strong, composed of queen and rooks. In this game, I also have a knight supporting the cannon, so cannon and knight. I have four puzzles for you today, so with that in mind, let's begin. This is a very unique opening called the Hungarian opening. Symmetrical variation, as you can see, that's really symmetrical. Uh, until this, until get to this point, then it's no longer symmetric, but it was symmetric before. And of course, this is my standard opening here, right here. So, so that's normal, at least for me. And development just goes uh, very effortlessly over here. Like, there's no challenge whatsoever. Uh -huh. So, it's kind of like uh, a relaxing drive, so to speak. You know, kind of strange to say that, hey, a chess game is very relaxing. But this game is very relaxing. Like, there is no drama, no, no, no tension or anything. It does have a certain potential over here with the pawn over here, taking care of all the squares over here. And there's a somewhat complication over here uh, for this knight for to take over here. But otherwise, it's just something that's designed to basically set up position. This is, as far as I'm concerned, this is still the opening. It's still putting position, putting pieces into place. So it's not. There's no, no, no drama, no, no tension, no anything like that over here. So this is just uh, 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 basically play variation now. This becomes the opening middle game because as you can see, I forget to get this pawn over there. And it, the computer says what is winning. So this is the mark of the middle game. That white starts to attack rather than positioning. It doesn't really matter, does it? And there you go. And suddenly, my position isn't bad anymore. You can tell that I have advanced pawn over here. Now, currently, it's not supported. This lead as a bishop over here, but we got exchange that bishop. So currently, this is unsupported. So this is a tenuous existence over here, but. That comes in uh, in the future. If there's any danger, it will come in the future. So that's not a problem. Again, jostling for position. That's an inaccuracy over here because, as you can see, this square is open over here. So oh, of course, I'll take advantage of it. And there's nothing what can do about it because. He traded the dark colored bishop. So, what do you want to do? There's no knights, there's no bishop. That uh, pawns have passed. So, that position here is very, very strong. So, you know, I'm I'm quite happy with it. Uh, oh. The position here says it's zero, which is a total draw. Like I said, there's no tension, there's no drama, there's nothing. And yet, at the same time, this is very annoying for white. Because, yeah, that is like a thorn or a prick on his side. So, let's move. Now, this becomes a rather interesting development here. This, the, the tension has just increased significantly. Because this one is unguarded, it's hanging basically, in, it's in danger in being taken over here. At the same time, the reverse is not true. If I take this rock over here, that rock will recapture and what will have great advantage over there. So, so white is basically has an advantage and as is reflected by the valuation from the computer. Next move.
this is protecting the pawn now this structure is called Alekhine cannon Alekhine is Alexander Alekhine uh, world champion twice one of the few person who built uh, Jose Roll Capablanca Capablanca was known as the invincible chess machine so so yeah beating Capablanca is a great achievement very very few people can do it the structure goes like this rook rook and queen so just go straight up there and attack that position over there over here now right now here if you can tell the pawn is guarded three different ways over here that's weak actually that's weak now at this point in time this is very strong right but it's not coordinated it's not connected like the cannon like I have now over here like this is all connected so this is very strong next move and that is the net so we have I have a cannon and there's a net over there putting up uh, a danger and then getting the rook over here over here so it's very strong so right now I have four attacker three defender attacker wins next move over here this is puzzle number one and this is actually a combo so uh, pause the game over here and see if you can figure it out the correct move is this one right here basically attacking the rooks over there both rooks over there and of course the queen can attack this one because it's guarded by the rook over here so queen take this one the queen takes this one check and I'm up a queen so obviously that's not so the correct answer is knight take this pawn next move <laughs> Yeah, of course. Of course, I did not do that. Of course, what do you expect? Uh, I'm not that good, so I'm not Alkhain. So, so the evaluation becomes plus three for white. There's a tactical uh, tricks over there, but white did not see it, and suddenly it becomes minus six. So, it's very from plus three to minus six in just one move amazing just can be flip-flop that way so attack four times defend three times attacker wins upper rook this is another mistake because right here pin the queen to the king and there you go I win basically there's really nothing to it over here now the game is not over yet so <coughs> let's continue over here so anyway that's the uh, before I, the, this is really nice right this is really devastating a, co a great combo over here combo combo that's a mistake a blunder combo combo so four move combo there uh, or five move combo so yeah so very interesting over there anyway next move this is puzzle number two white has just moved the pawn to g uh, to f4 what should i do I took the pawn over there 
that's an inaccuracy basically uh, what I should have done is I should have just did this and try to stop there simple enough to go here cannot do anything over there so either go here in this case pawn goes here followed by that one or bishop goes here followed and just go there. oops and just go there so <laughs> easy win easy win did not do it I took this pawn over here took this pawn over again like what am I doing here why, why don't I just take this pawn over here like what's wrong with me take that pawn over here this one take that one over there all right so I have a winning position obviously that's minus eight so obviously just keep exchanging the pawn and I have this best pawn over here check there and this is puzzle number uh, three over here bishop has just moved to g2 what should I do just push the pawn easy made in six made in six over there keep pushing the pawn and this is puzzle number four the bishop has just moved to b3 what should i do nope that's not what i should have done again i'm reviewing this game over here look what are you doing move the queen over here check take bishop like <laughs> anyway like so check over here pawn promotion bishop touch and and there you go and the rest is boring the rest is boring it's like just i'll just do this automatically or something and that's it basically king goes here queen goes here king goes here and it doesn't matter whether the king move or the pawn move uh, uh, i mean and that's it mate the king and uh, let's see the king move here though so yeah just check check and mate and that's a go. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.